In this video, we're going to talk about exponential functions, exponential growth, and decay word problems. An exponential function is a function of the form f of x equals a b to the x. b is the base, x is the exponent. Exponential function determines a very rapid growth or a very rapid decay of something. When b is greater than 1, then we're observing an exponential growth. And when b is greater than 0 but less than 1, then we observe an exponential decay. In 2010, an item cost $10. The price increases at the rate of 1.2% each year. How much does the item cost in 2021? Let's use the growth formula because the price increases. P equals A1 plus R to the T. So what do we know? We know the initial price, A, in this case, will be $10, $10. We also know the rate at which the price increases every year, and R will be 1.2% divided by 100%. Whenever we include the rate in the equation, it has to be in decimals, 0. 0, 1, 2. Next, we need the time. How long did it take for the uh, price to increase to the price that we're going to find? From 2010 to 2021, it's been 11 years. So now let's substitute those values into the formula and calculate how much the, the item costs today. P equals 10, 1 plus 0 0.012 to the power of 11. First, add what's inside the bracket. P equals 10, 1.012 to the power of 11. Then raise the bracket to the exponent and only then multiply by 10. P equals approximately $11.40. So therefore, the item costs $11.40 in 2021. A car was purchased for $30,000 in 2015. In 2021, it can be sold only for $18,000. At what rate has the car been depreciating? The price value of the car has been decreasing. Therefore, this is an exponential decay. P equals A, 1 subtract R to the T. Let's see what we know. We know that the initial amount, A, was $30,000. We know that the final amount in 2021 that it can be sold for is $18,000. The time that has passed between 2015 and 2021 is six years. And we're trying to determine the rate at which the car has been depreciating. So 18,000 equals 30,000, one minus R to the power of six. Let's try to solve this. Our first step here will be Dividing by 30,000 on both sides. We're trying to isolate for R. So we're doing reverse operations in order. 
30,000 and 30,000. Zero point six equals one minus R to the power of six. Now, in order to get rid of the exponent of six, we need to take the sixth root of both sides. So then sixth root of 0 0.6 equals one minus R. 0 0.91 eight, four equals one minus R. Zero point zero eight one six times 100%. So therefore the rate has been 8.16%.